Welcome everybody back to the Figure Kit Garage, fellow resin heads, kit builders, and member members of the Jaeger Army. Brent Krug back with an out of the box review. And this past Monday, I received a whole box of goodies from George Stevenson at Blackheart Models. Uh, four busts and a set of metallic waxes. Uh, this is the second video of this that I'm shooting because this is specific to the Jaeger Army Facebook page only uh, for its members. But these busts, as you see in front of you, are of the Micromania bust line available from Blackheart, sculpted by Jeff Jaeger. And we have Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott, Communications Officer Lieutenant Niyota Uhura, and Helmsman Hikaru Sulu played by James Dewan, Nichelle Nichols, and George Takei, respectively. And we're going to start off with Mr. Scott, the miracle worker. And Jeff has done a fantastic job of capturing a very young James Dewan on the TV series. That pensive stare. Lips purse trying to figure out how to get the Enterprise to go faster or how to fix what Captain Kirk may have broke doing something ridiculous. Hair detail sculpted by Jeff as always. Just beautiful. Can't say enough about Jeff sculpting on this. The engineering badge or engineering logo on his uh, Starfleet badge sculpted him really, really well. You see the fine texture detail in the shirt captured very nicely. And I already have started getting these ready. These are for a client. This is the second set that I've done. I started these last night, so I wasn't able to get the review video finished or even started more or less. And here we have Lieutenant Uhura played by the lovely Nichelle Nichols, and Jeff captured her likeness just beautifully. Very young Nichelle Nichols, back in the 1960s. The hairstyle that he, cap that he sculpted, just beautifully rendered all the way around. And she does come with two little earrings that I'm keeping them in the bag so I don't lose them. But I'll have to be very, very careful. You can see a little indentation in her earlobe. Be really, really careful getting those applied once she's painted. But just an amazing job by Jeff to capture the likenesses of these actors and actresses on the series. And like Mr. Spock, had to fill in the uh, logo on her Starfleet badge because she doesn't have the command logo. She has the engineering uh, communications logo like Mr. Scott does. I'll have to redo that. No big deal. Small nitpick. Nothing major. And one minor air bubble down here at the corner, already filled in and ready to go. But just an outstanding job. Base is already uh, painted in black. I've got something really special planned for them. And then we have Mr. Sulu, played by George Takei. And this is, I believe, the very, I think this is the first ever kit of Mr. Sulu, that, to my knowledge, that has ever been done. I don't remember having seen any over the last 30 years, but Jeff has really, really captured George Takei's likeness in his younger years on the series. And I'd seen the, uh, the painted up photos uh, on the Blackheart website, but once I got this thing in hand, it looks absolutely fantastic. The sculpted hair detail is captured really well. A minor air bubble in the right ear. 
easily taken care of. Had to finish getting the hair scribed in where the seam line was at. That won't take any time at all. Starfleet badge. And the Delta Shield sculpted really nice. The texture in the shirt on every one of these has been rendered so well. Especially once you get them painted up, it actually show, it shows off that texture even better. And these busts I was able to get as a part of uh, Blackheart's Halloween sale that George uh, has been doing every year for quite a few years now. Normally, these run for $30. I was able to pick these up for $25 each. And they stand right around 6 inches tall with a base. So for... $75 for three busts instead of the normal 90. I apologize for the beep. Dryer's going in the background. Uh, that's the price is just, it's too hard to beat. It's too hard to beat. And because this is for, this video is specifically for the uh, Jaeger Army Facebook group, I decided to go ahead and show off the first three. And we're going to start off with the captain of the Enterprise, James T. Kirk, as played by William Shatner. Really happy with how this turned out. Hope the light's capturing this the right way, because if not, it doesn't do it justice. Coming up with that shirt color, it's completely custom shirt color. I wound up using uh, Mission Models Highway Yellow and Vallejo Leather Brown to get the uh, right gold color or what I could get as close to it as possible. And then all the bases that I'm doing for this, I was given free reign to do the bases however I chose to do it. And I'm doing galaxies on every single one with starbursts. Apologize for the autofocus not wanting to cooperate. All the way around. And every one of them will have a starburst in some way, shape, or form on the Blackheart logo on the back. But there we have Captain James T. Kirk in his younger years. Beautiful likeness of William Shatner, sculpted by Jeff. Move these over. And next is the one that I thought would give me the most problem, but I was pleasantly surprised that he turned out as well as he did. Science Officer Spock, as portrayed by Leonard Nimoy on the series. I don't think the camera's doing this very much justice with the lighting, unfortunately. If I can bring this light back in and get a little bit better look at him. That's a lot better. And the blue shirt is a uh, completely custom mixed color of uh, two different Vallejo mixes. Electric blue and I believe it was electric blue and magic blue to get that shirt color as close as I could. And I did have to fill in the, uh, the logo on his badge. Um and redo it to the uh, sciences division which both he and Dr. McCoy share but I'm extremely proud of how this turned out the likeness to Leonard Nimoy is just absolutely ridiculously spot on and he has a galaxy on his as well damn this thing does not want to there we go Had to teach myself how to paint nebulas and galaxies. And it was actually a lot of fun. And got the double starburst on the uh, Blackheart logo. But, yeah, I thought Mr. Spock would have been a little bit more difficult to do but he turned out really really well and then last but certainly never least 
Dr. Leonard McCoy as played by DeForest Kelly. And again, these likenesses that Jeff did are just right out of the park. Every time I look at Spock and McCoy sitting next to each other, I swear I can hear them bicker and bitch like they used to do on the television series. Just an amazing job by Jeff. Science Division badge. Sculpted in very nice, and you can see the texture in the shirt after it's painted, and yet another, gal another galaxy in a nebula. Bright starburst in the center. I wanted to do something with the bases that made these things absolutely unique and original. And this is about the best thing I could think of. You know, where no man has gone before, so why not? But there we have it. I'm still awaiting the release of Mr. Chekhov. Um, hopefully that will be sometime soon. But once I get these six done, um, get these delivered. Uh, these are actually a birthday gift uh, to someone very special that I've known for a lot of years. Um, her daughter uh, asked me to paint these up and we're going to surprise this individual in a very, very big way. She's absolutely, she's absolutely going to love them. But check these out on the Blackheart website if you're interested or if you're a big fan of Star Trek. Or you just like doing busts in general. Uh, for the size, they do not take up a heck of a lot of room. I mean, you can see the six of them next to each other. I mean, you put them side by side, shoulder to shoulder, and I can pretty much guarantee you they don't even take up, they barely take up 14 inches of room side by side. Even if you don't have that much shelf space, you can always find a way to group them together. But that is it for this review and unveiling of the, uh, the, paint, uh, the completed painted busts that I've already done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and a share. Subscribe. Subscribers always help. Um, for those of you out there... Um, I hope you guys are staying safe, uh, keeping yourselves healthy. Um, too many times I see this, especially out here in California, now that we're getting ready to go back on uh, mandatory curfews. Um, for us, it's uh, 10 p.m. Saturday night, starting and it runs until the 21st of December. But no matter how many restrictions get put in place, and I keep seeing people wearing their mask under their nose or tucking it up under their chin, cover yourself up. This virus is getting worse until these vaccines that are uh, reportedly 95% effective get FDA approval and we can get this thing beaten back as far as we can. Wear a damn mask. Please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I've been lucky enough um, to still be working there's a lot of people that can't even say that. Um, Amazon, my employer, has gone to extreme lengths to make sure that we stay as safe as possible. And there's only so much you can do. And we've got to do the best we can with what we've got right now. You know, toilet paper and paper towel shortages are going to happen again. It's already started out here in a lot of places as I'm sure it has in a lot of other parts of the country and around the world. But stay healthy, stay safe, wear your mask. And I want to wish everybody uh, watching this video a very happy Thanksgiving. I know families can't be together um, as much as we would like to be for this holiday season, but we do what we can with the way things are right now. 
So have a very happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the turkey. Definitely enjoy the nap after the turkey. Stay safe. Build a kit.